Hey Atari 8-bit fans, thought I'd show off something that I've always wondered about back in the day, but growing up I was lucky enough to have one uh, 1050 with the happy upgrade. It itself was a, a cloned board and over the last 10 years it, out of misuse and powering it back up it failed and I actually managed to get it working again with the replacement 4k RAM chip and uh, over the course of the last few months I've actually acquired the uh, Atari Max 1050 happy mechanisms and I've been have put them in three other drives so currently sitting here is the fabled four drive stack which was the ultimate copy protected disk duplicating machine You'd hear in the days of lore when people would have copy parties and people would line up to have copies of each game. And, but yeah, and you could start one copy and write it to three discs simultaneously with maintaining copy protection. So I've always wanted to see this and I can actually demonstrate it now. Three of these are the tandem mechanisms, the bottom three, drive one, two, three, and the last one was my original happy drive that I've revived. It's got some other issues. It had the Ray Protect switch that we installed. I thought it was really cool to see the uh, mechanism inside. Um, so we put a little plastic window and drilled it, so that was always kind of fun. Anyhow, we have the Happy 7.1 happy, uh, software. My Atari 130XC with uh, four switchable operating systems, 320K RAM upgrade. Not necessarily for this demo, but there we go. So we'll power on drive one, two, three, four. And this one's not working now. Looks like I have to do a little bit of surgery on this one. This one has always been the temperamental. So, this is the One World Storage Technology Drive that some people like. So, this is the Atari Max. Try not to uh, wreck the right protect switch here. So I just need to reseat the happy. It's a little bit finicky in this one. How's that sitting? Does it work? Alright, it's working. Get this back on. Alright, we have a drive four. Let's boot up, drive one. And away we go. So first of all, of all, it detects all drives, one, two, three, and four. Probably don't see that too often. We're gonna go to not the normal happy backup, which is probably what most people used if they only had one happy drive, but the multi-drive copy. Source drive one, destination drive two, three, four. There goes the warp speed. Initializes drive one, uploads the copy software, drive two, drive three, drive four. Okay, all drives are now programmed with the Happy Backup program. It's one of the things with the Happy Drive is it has enough RAM for it to upload custom programs. And of course, Happy's own software was used that feature extensively. So I have here an original Epic's Summer Games. So we'll put in disk one. This is a good example because the copy protection isn't too extreme, so we can just use the basic copy function. So we're gonna go copy any disk. And actually, I'm gonna do one thing in here because this is an example of a game that doesn't boot with the happy drive in its normal mode. Because it has a track buffer, one of the basic copy protection mechanisms is uh, trying to read bad sectors or the timing between sectors on a track. And a track buffer 
messes up all the timing, so most disks won't boot at all. So you'd have to boot up the happy happy software, switch the drive to unhappy mode. And maybe I won't do that. It'll be good for demonstration. So let's go copy any disk. Quantity of dress destination drives three. Insert destination disk into drive two, three, and four. So let's do that. So drive two, drive three, drive four. And off we go. Hit return. Read. And it writes all three drives simultaneously. Uses kind of an SIO broadcast command that the happy drives will all pick up on and then respond separately for the status. So the SIO noise is kind of interesting. But you can see all four drives are spinning at once here. You see the head kind of moving along track 13. So it's got to get up to 39. Sometimes you'll see one drive miss a heartbeat and has to rewrite a track or something. But it seems pretty clear so far. Oh, right retrying drive three. This guy didn't respond, but the way it went, retry it, off it goes. And here are all the other three drives all step at the same time. And instantly you have three copies of a copy protected disk. So second part of this demonstration, I'm going to turn off the other drives. Oh, actually a good part of the interesting thing with the happy is I turned off the fourth drive, but what happens is it has an ability to sense when the uh, computer is turned off because it'll reset the uploaded software back to standard initialization. Turn it off. They all reset. It's interesting. So just to demonstrate, if we initially try and boot off of the disk with the drive in happy mode, see it hesitates here because the track buffer is trying to get a successful read of all the sectors on the track before it even sends the first sector. And it fails. So even on the original disk, that will happen. So. We'll go to the happy software. A little trick is you just get ready on the one key if you only got one drive. One, drive one, set on happy mode, done. So it's programmed to basically disable the track buffer. So every sector is read individually. Here it reading a bit slower. I'm booting off of the happy disk. I want to boot off of my copied summer games disk. With the option key. And already it's getting further than it did before. Summer games. Well, that was the standard process back in the day. But one of the things that I found recently in my reintroduction to the Atari is programs that would 
similar to how the Happy Software would upload code to do the disk copy, protected software copy, people have made software to upload the original Happy 1050 ROM to RAM and boot the drive that way. So you can simulate a real 1050. Let's turn these off. So I'm going to boot off of this utility disk that I downloaded an ATR and found online, copied it to a real floppy. This cracked pirate utilities disk. So we can get past that. One of the options here is happy to archiver, so you can convert it to an 810 chip drive. Happy to 1050, so we're gonna do that one. And it's gonna upload the stock 1050 uh, ROM into the RAM of the happy drive. So now it is a 1050. So now if I boot off of that copy the game, you can see that the pitch of the sector loading even sounds a little bit lower, like a real 1050, but this will also work because it is literally running as a real 1050. No happy, no unhappy. And that runs too. So there you have it folks. Thought it would be a cool thing to, to see. It's not a, a common configuration to actually have four happy drives running together, but I can see how this would be a a fun thing for uh, people to get together and everybody bring their happy drives and duplicate like mad. See you later.